Robotic Operating Buddy. This week's character breakdown is Rob, who was released as an accessory for the NES back in 1985. Rob has made appearances in other games such as Star Tropics, F-Zero GX, and the WarioWare series to name a few. Rob's original name was going to be Otto as a play on the word Auto, and following the North American video game crash of 1983, Rob helped sell consoles by being viewed as an advanced toy as opposed to a video game experience. What's up YouTube, I'm Choctopus, and this week we're breaking down Rob, aka Robotic Operating Buddy. When playing Rob, you want to make use of his projectiles to zone an opponent and force them to approach, then you're going to dominate them with aerial combos. Now, Rob has gotten a significant buff in Ultimate, and he's far more popular than ever, which is well-deserving because he's a great character. Now, remember, this is a weekly series, and the viewers decide who we're going to be covering next week, so place your vote down in the comment section below, and let's break Rob down. First up, we have Rob's jabs, which are these two hooks, and there's fastest attack tied with his down tilt that both connect on frame three. The base knockback is pretty bad, but the attack itself is good for shield pressure because it's safe on shield and you can even use it to jab lock. Rob's dash attack is this lunging hit, and it's quick enough to punish missed attacks and bad landings, and you can even use it to follow up into a forward air at low percents. Next up, we have Rob's smash attack, starting with his forward smash, which is this eye laser, which is the strongest of the three. It kills pretty early, and it has a sweet spot, so it deals more damage closer to his eyes than it does far away. The attack can be angled upward or downward, and against smaller characters like Pichu, you're going to want to angle it downward. It's also a great finisher to pick up a kill at higher percents. You're primarily going to use forward smash to hard punish whiffed attacks, but don't go around spamming them because it'll leave you open to be punished. Next up, we have Rob's down smash, which is this spinning attack. It's the quickest of the three, but it's not really good for anything other than picking up a kill at higher percents. And last, we have Rob's up smash, where he uses his boosters overhead. Now, this is a great kill option, especially at higher percents, because it pulls from the side, so you can use it from the front, and you can use it from the back. It connects really well into Rob's down throw because his down throw buries, especially against opponents that are not good at mashing because then you can bury them and use an up smash to kill. It has great range, so it can be used as an anti-air, but it's also a great out of shield option. So if your opponent decides to use an attack that's unsafe on shield, you can pop an up smash and kill them. And speaking of Rob's down throw, you could also do a down smash, but it's not as good. Next up, we're going to talk about Rob's special moves, starting with his neutral B, which is his Robo Beam. So the indicator on top of Rob's head will tell you how charged his beam is. So rapidly blinking will be his Super Robo Beam. Then you have regular blinking, which is his regular Robo Beam. And then you have his uncharged beam, which still does damage if you're close enough, if it's dim. You can also angle the beam. You can angle it upward. If your opponent is approaching with a short hop, you can shoot it up. If your opponent is short, you can angle it downward, and you can even angle it slightly down if you want to get a little more distance. Rob's Robo Beam has incredible range, so it's going to be one of the attacks that you're using to zone your opponent and kind of force them to approach you, because you can hang out all the way back here and you can shoot your beam, and if your opponent is off stage, it's not a bad option for gimping or picking up a kill, and if you have a fully charged beam, which is the Super Robo Beam, at close range, it does about 30% damage. Also, at higher percents, his fully charged laser is a pretty good option for picking up an offstage kill. Rob's down B is his gyro, which is going to be a majority of the tech in this section because there's just so, so much that you can do with his gyro. And this is going to be more of an intro to using it, but if you're looking for additional tech, I suggest you visit the Rob Character Discord, as there's lots of tidbits and other guides for specific things, and I'll leave a link in the video description if you'd like to check it out afterwards. Rob's gyro can be charged, and like most pocket attacks, can be cancelled by rolling, shielding, or even jumping. The gyro is also going to take 8 spins to fully charge before Rob puts it away. However, the strongest gyro that will deal the most damage and stay on stage the longest is when you cancel the charge right before Rob puts it away. So you're going to practice doing eight spins and then canceling it because it's going to deal more damage. It's going to stay on stage longer. It's going to travel faster than if you were just to use a fully charged gyro. In fact, anything five spins and above is going to be stronger than fully charged. 
It's also important to remember that your opponent will always be knocked away from the gyro, depending on the direction that Rob is facing when it was thrown. A couple other properties about his gyro. If a gyro is out and Rob grabs it, he can recharge it by hitting down B, and a grabbed gyro, regardless of how long it is charged, will only bounce three times before it disappears. Moving on, we're going to talk about some of the best uses for the gyro, and the first one is that it's great for ledge guarding. So if you have an opponent that is going to roll back onto the stage, you can effectively use Rob's gyro to cover the low ground, while you use aerial attacks to cover any high recoveries. So if your opponent gets knocked off the stage, they're trying to recover, you can either Z-drop or down throw the gyro, while using his aerial attacks to cover anything high. A really good damage builder, if you can get on top of your enemy, get it top because- I'm sorry, I had to get at least one in there. But like I was saying, a good damage builder is if you can trap your opponent between Rob's down tilts and the gyro. Being that it knocks away, if you can get on the opposite side, you can use down tilts to knock back and forth because it's such a fast attack. And once you get to higher percents, you can even use gyro trapping to finish your opponent off with an up smash. Z-dropping is going to play a large part when using Rob's gyro, especially for combos. So if you don't know how to Z-drop, essentially what you're going to do is you're going to jump in the air, you're going to hit the Z button to drop it, and then you're going to work on catching it by hitting A again. So you can do a Z-drop neutral air over and over in the air. And once you've gotten the hang of Z-dropping and re-catching his gyro, it's going to be an essential part to building and extending your combos. At low percents, I really recommend practicing Z-Drop Neutral Airs because they're great in succession. Throwing a gyro from in hand, or I guess technically from in claw for Rob, is also a great way to start some combos at low percents. Some of my favorite ones to do are a short hop right into a down toss, into a falling up air, into an up tilt, and the up tilt can also be replaced by a side B. Another great easy combo at low percents, you can do Z-Drop Nair to forward throw to side B. Next up we have Rob's side B, which is his arm rotor, where he will do the spinning attack and then knock you away. The attack can also be extended by mashing B. You can also change the direction of the arm rotor by using the control stick, and it will give Rob a little bit of hover if used in the air. Now, this is one of Rob's, if not his best kill option, because it has a long-lasting hitbox, it kills early, and it's great off stage. So you knock your opponent off, you can use it to kill them. It's even great as a combo finisher. Even if the combo isn't true, if you can manage to get them with the last hit at a high percent, it's going to be an easy kill. The attack is also really good for ledge guarding, so if your opponent rolls back on, you can catch them with the arm rotor. It will also reflect incoming projectiles if they hit you while you're using it. Uppy is Rob's Robo Burner, which is his recovery, but also has some other uses. He can attack while using Up B, and he can also jump out of it, even when he's out of fuel. Mashing B will also conserve fuel, so you can use it for longer. And the meter on his waist, is that a waist? is going to determine how much fuel he has and recovers over time when he's grounded. And even if Rob runs out of fuel, he can still move and attack. Rob's Robo Burner makes him a great character to chase opponents off the stage, but what I really wanted to talk about was Burner Boosting, which is a great technique for using his up B on stage. Basically, Burner Boosting is dashing into his up B, which will allow him to keep his forward momentum while in the air. So if your opponent's in the air and you wanted to try and close the gap and catch them off guard, instead of doing a dash into a full hop into a neutral air, you can actually do a dash into an up B, which will close the gap a lot quicker. Burner boosting is also a great way to get to the ledge fast so you can begin to ledge guard your opponent. To do the technique, you're going to start your dash and then you're going to jam your control stick on an upward angle, so not directly up, and then you're going to tap B. And if done correctly, you should be able to cover most of Final Destination. Next, we're going to cover Rob's tilt, starting with his forward tilt, which is this arm swipe. It's pretty weak, and it's primarily used to swat away aggressive opponents. It can be angled upward or downward, but it really doesn't have many uses. Next, we have Rob's down tilt, which is easily one of his best attacks. It hits on frame 3. It has a lot of uses. It's great for poking, and it's great for shield pressure. 
and starting at mid percents, it can combo into a forward tilt or it can combo into a dash attack. And starting around 70%, if your opponent can't react fast enough, you can just do dash down tilts and chain them to drag your opponent across the stage. And around 110%, your opponent will be set into a tumble, which is a great setup for picking up a kill. And last we have Rob's up tilt, which is this overhead attack. Now, it doesn't hit from the side like his up smash does, but it's a good attack on a stage like Battlefield because you can use it to reach above platforms. It's a great juggle tool, and at low percents, it can combo into itself, or it can combo into an up smash. And starting at mid percents, you can even combo it into an up air. Next, we have Rob's air attacks, and this is where our Robo Boy really shines. His neutral air is one of his best attacks. It's a great ledge guarding tool, both on and off the stage, and it's also a safe option for approaching an opponent. At low percents, a short hop fast fall nair to forward air side B can be a pretty good option for picking up an easy kill early in a stock. Rob's nair also hits well below platform, so you can use it to catch your opponent on the ledge. Another good easy combo at low percents, you can do neutral air into up tilt into up air. Next up, we have Rob's forward air, which is this downward swipe with both of his arms. It's a great tool for spacing your opponent and poking in the air and it combos well into a down tilt at low percents. You can even combo into itself to carry your opponent off the stage. Next up, we have Rob's up air, which is this overhead multi-hit attack, and it's a good juggling tool, but also has some other great uses. So if you're up against an opponent that is a good masher and you know a down throw into an up smash isn't gonna do it, you can do a down throw, and then you can catch them with the short hop up air instead. You can also do a short hop fast falling up air, which will bring your opponent overhead depending on which way Rob is facing. So if you hit them in the front, it's gonna pull them to the back of Rob, but if you hit them from the back, it's gonna pull them to the front. So if you jump over them, you can do it into an up tilt, or you can even do it into an up smash. Rob's back air is strong, and it's a great option for picking up a kill off stage, and Rob will actually travel a bit when using it, which makes it a safe option against a shield. And doing a reverse aerial rush on stage is a good way to catch an opponent that's approaching at a high percent. Last up, we have Rob's down air, which is a pretty nasty spike, and there's a bit of a delay before the boosters go off, so you're going to have to practice the timing. The attack does have a sour spot, which will knock horizontally if your opponent isn't directly under you, but overall, it's a relatively safe spike because Rob can just dash off and spike someone that's recovering low. And last up, we have Rob's grabs and his throws. You have his forward throw, which combos into a dash attack at 0%. You have his back throw, which is slightly more damaging than his forward throw, but doesn't really have any follow-ups. Then you have his down throw, which at 0% will combo nicely into an up tilt, and you can even do it into an up smash. And like we said earlier, his down throw is a great setup for picking up kills. So if you're going up against an opponent at kill percent, that is a good masher. Down throw them, wait for them to mash, and then catch them with a the short hop up air. Or if they're not a great masher, you can do down throw into an up smash. And last we have Rob's up throw where he just kind of pile drives you into the pavement. At low percents, it combos pretty well into a forward air, or you can even do it into an up air. That's it for Rob's breakdown. He is a character with a lot to offer, and if you've never picked him up, I recommend giving him a shot because he can be pretty deadly in the right hands. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go hit that like button, and if you do, I'll, I'll be your best friend. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more. You can also ring the bell, which will give you notifications on all videos that I post instead of just occasional notifications, which is a weird thing for YouTube to do. I'll also be your best friend, but don't tell the others. You can find me on social media, Twitch, Discord, all of those links are available in the description. You can also email me. I don't know why I'm plugging that, but my email is down there as well, and I read all of them. Now go get some W's with Rob, and I will catch you in the next video. Later.